Hello viewers, for DIYers here, back with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot and replace the exterior ambient air temperature sensor on a third generation Dodge Ram. Here I'm working with a 2006 model, and a similar procedure may also apply to other Mopar vehicles as well. Over time, these sensors will start showing irregular temperatures or may not even work at all. If the circuit or data is faulty, you'll be left with two dashes on the digital readout in the cabin. In this scenario, the module could have failed. The sensor circuit can also max out on temperature values. The most it'll read is 55 degrees Celsius or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll show the same value if there is a short in a circuit too. The lowest temperature it'll register is negative 40 degrees Celsius or negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If a sensor has failed with an open circuit or is missing, it'll produce the same value. We are working with a module here, so it's always good practice to disconnect the battery first as a safety precaution. Disconnecting the negative battery terminal is only needed. This requires a 10 millimeter wrench. As for the sensor location, it should be on the driver's side behind the grille on the radiator support. The clip on mine seems to have disappeared, and this is a fairly common issue, so you may find yours hanging around the area. You may be required to remove the clip which holds on the sensor. To disconnect the electrical connector, press down on the tang and pull off the plug. First is testing the plug. Reconnect the battery first, you'll need to power up the plug. Turn the key in the run position to activate the sensor circuit. Here is a quick view of the temperature readout with the sensor disconnected. Here you can see it at its lowest temperature value it will register. Using a multimeter, set it to the DC 20 volt max. Using your probes, test the plug. We should have about 5 volts here, being 5.57, this is fine. If the value is excessively high, you may have a voltage short going back to the module. If the voltage is excessively low or there's no value at all, there may be damage or corrosion present in the plug, wiring, or back of the module. Another process of elimination is strictly testing the signal source in the plug. Looking at the plug, with the connector clip at the top, this would be the terminal on the left. With the meter in the same setting, touch the one probe on the signal terminal and the other on the ground source on the truck. Here I'm using a bolt behind the bumper. Based on the previous test, if the value is only present here or is improved, then there's an issue on the opposite wire. This would be at the plug, wiring, or at the module. The problems can be further isolated by removing the module, then testing the wires between the sensor plug and the module plug. However, I won't be getting into this here. As for testing the sensor, you can measure the resistance and there is a specific value based on the temperatures exposed to. I do have a thermometer here as a reference. Currently it's about 26 degrees Celsius or 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Set the multimeter to the 20,000 resistance setting. Touch the probes on the terminals inside the sensor. We are looking at about 9.45 kilo ohms. A heat gun can be used to test the temperature at 55 degrees Celsius or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. For this I'm using my dual temperature heat gun made by OEM Tools model number 24498 from Mobile Distributor Supply. I have featured it in many projects. It's my go-to heat gun for getting the job done right. A link to this will be included in the video description. Setting it on the lowest setting, you'll need a bit of distance so the sensor isn't overheated. Monitor the thermometer and it should stay warm for a bit. Then using a multimeter, test the resistance. At 55 degrees Celsius or 130 degrees Fahrenheit, the resistance should be 2.488 kilo ohms. Look for a value close to this, as it may be tough getting the exact temperature. As you can see, the sensor is well out of that range, therefore it is required to be replaced. The sensor can also be tested at negative 40 degrees Celsius or negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. You may need a can of nitrogen for this. The value at this temperature should be 336 kilo ohms. Disconnect the battery again if you haven't already, then install the new sensor. Ensure the plug is properly seated. You'll know it's connected when it's followed by a click. As for putting the sensor back into place, I used a fir tree stock clip and installed it on the lower hole with the sensor portion facing up, the plug portion facing to the bottom. Reconnect the battery. Then verify the sensor is working correctly by turning on the key and checking the readout. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. 
If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.